Corundum is a crystalline form of aluminium oxide typically containing traces of iron, titanium, vanadium and chromium. It is a rock-forming mineral. It is one of the naturally transparent materials, but can have different colors when impurities are present. Transparent specimens are used as gems, called ruby if red and pad paradure if pink orange. All other colors are called sapphire, e.g., green sapphire, for a green specimen. The name, corundum, is derived from the Tamil word kuruvinda or Sanskrit word kuruvinda meaning ruby. Because of corundum's hardness, it can scratch almost every other mineral. It is commonly used as an abrasive on everything from sandpaper to large machines used in machining metals, plastics, and wood. Some emery is a mix of corundum and other substances, and the mix is less abrasive, with an average Mohs hardness of 8.0. In addition to its hardness, corundum is unusual for its density of 4.02 grams per cc which is very high for a transparent mineral composed of the low atomic mass elements aluminium and oxygen. Geology and Occurrence Corundum occurs as a mineral in mica schist, gneiss, and some marbles in metamorphic terranus. It also occurs in low silica igneous cyanite and nephilim cyanite intrusives. Other occurrences are as masses adjacent to ultramorphous intrusives, associated with lamprophyre dikes and as large crystals in pegmatites. It commonly occurs as a detrital mineral in stream and beach sands because of its hardness and resistance to weathering. The largest documented single crystal of corundum measured about 65 times 40 times 40 centimeters and weighed 152 kilograms. The record has since been surpassed by certain synthetic gules. Corundum for abrasives is mined in Zimbabwe, Russia, Sri Lanka and India. Historically it was mined from deposits associated with dunites in North Carolina, USA and from a nephilim cyanite in Craigmont, Ontario. Emery-grade corundum is found on the Greek island of Naxos and near Peekskill, New York, USA. Abrasive corundum is synthetically manufactured from bauxite. Four corundum axes dating back to 2500 BCE from the Liangzhou culture have been discovered in China. The surfaces of the axes are remarkably smoothly polished. Synthetic corundum. In 1837, Marc Antoine Gaudin made the first synthetic rubies by fusing alumina at a high temperature with a small amount of chromium as a pigment. In 1847, Ebelman made white synthetic sapphires by fusing alumina in boric acid. In 1877, Frenick and Freil made crystal corundum from which small stones could be cut. Frimi and August Vernoy manufactured artificial ruby by fusing BAF2 and Al2O3 with a little chromium at temperatures above 2000 degrees Celsius. In 1903, Vernoy announced he could produce synthetic rubies on a commercial scale using this flame fusion process. The Vernoy process allows the production of flawless single crystal sapphires. Rubies and other corundum gems of much larger size than normally found in nature. It is also possible to grow gem-quality synthetic corundum by flux growth and hydrothermal synthesis. Because of the simplicity of the methods involved in corundum synthesis, large quantities of these crystals have become available on the market causing a significant reduction of price in recent years. Apart from ornamental uses, synthetic corundum is also used to produce mechanical parts, scratch-resistant optics, scratch-resistant watch crystals, instrument windows for satellites and spacecraft, and laser components. Structure and physical properties. Corundum crystallizes with trigonal symmetry in the space group R3C and has the lattice parameters R equals 4.75A and C equals 12.982A at standard conditions. The unit cell contains six formula units. In the lattice of corundum, the oxygen atoms form a slightly distorted hexagonal close packing in which two-thirds of the gaps between the octahedra are occupied by aluminum, ions, 